This weekend, my girls and I decided to check out Batumi, the second largest city in the country of Georgia, surrounded by mountains and located next to the sea. Unlike the capital, Batumi is famous for its casinos and tall buildings and because of this, it even got the name Las Vegas on the Black Sea. In this video, you will see how my friends and I explored the city and our honest impressions about this. So, let's get started. I know that there's a new train here in Georgia, so let's go to check it out and let's go to Batumi. A one-way ticket from Belize to Batumi costs about $13, and the road takes 5 hours, during which you'll cross almost the whole country. And it's worth saying that the new double-decker trains are very comfortable and spacious, so we fall asleep quite fast. I'm currently reading the 7 habits of highly effective people, which actually many people recommend, but to be honest, I don't really like it. Everything seems kind of banal. We almost reached Batumi. It's been 5 hours in the train and to be honest, my back just died right now. But I think that's already the age. Construction, construction, construction. We a bit unlucky with the weather because it started raining, but I'm sure it shouldn't be a problem for us. I hope so. <laughs> the difference between the new train and the old one. Well, not the worst I've seen. The taxi drivers here are just, I don't know, kind of us. They are so aggressive. Unfortunately, because of the heavy rain, we had to cancel our plans and therefore we just went to a dinner at the Ukrainian restaurant Deshmesh, which is translated as Without Borders. And that's where I tasted lard for the first time in my life and as you can see from my face, I wasn't a big fan of it. We booked an Airbnb at the Orbe City Apart Hotel. It seemed okay, but there were so many people living there, so we usually had to wait for an elevator for a long time. So here is my room, which I really like. I put the heater here because I felt a little bit cold at night. But yeah, it looks so simple. But the sea so nice. By the way, there is a Soviet attraction park. It doesn't look so safe, to be honest. The apartment has two spacious rooms and a living room combined with the kitchen. We paid $100 for two nights and since the location is good, I think the price is more or less fine. This is how our building looks from outside. It's huge, there are 47 floors and right in front of it there is a small, really cute park actually. I wanted to check it out, so let's go for a walk. Here you can see some Soviet attractions. Uh, I think they are open in summer. Right now it's not a hot season, so everything is closed and it looks quite abandoned. Finally sun. It looks much nicer with the sunny weather than grey, windy and rainy. Very cold one. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> suffered from yesterday. It was so cold. I feel like I even was getting sick after that. If you take a look at the palm trees, you see that they're tired. And I think it's done because of the wind. So wind will not destroy them. My inner urbanist was so upset seeing such ugly benches. I'm convinced that it was worth building something better than this. Georgia is not Georgia without cute dogs. Well, what can I say? I don't really recommend you going to swim right now. When walking in the city, you will see a lot of skyscrapers, and the new ones are being built every day. It might remind you Dubai even, and if you wonder why, from what I know of Batumi, government tried to create sort of a Georgian Las Vegas. They built lots of casinos here and also they're building now a lot of high buildings, which is not really a style of Georgia. And that's why Georgian people hope that with the casinos and good properties, uh, more people are going to visit Batumi. It's also worth to say located next to the sea. And maybe right now it's not the season, so it's quite hot and there is probably not much things to do on the abatement, but I'm sure that in summer there are a lot of people, really nice sea, so it's a summer resort. And worth to say, it's slowly working. More and more people started to buy properties here. For example, lots of 
fashion sabai and apartments and houses here in Batumi and also Turkish people and also the Arabs. Every day more and more international money is invested in Batumi and that's why you can see here construction almost everywhere. This building is so interesting. It definitely needs some renovation, but it's quite unusual. I like it. For the breakfast, we came to a cafe called Place. It's quite artistic, amazing, very atmospheric place. Place, place, located just next to the sea. There is a beautiful mountain scenery. And also, a lot of people who are living in Batumi advise us to come here. And I can understand why. The place is so artistic. It's absolutely my type of places. Now the cafe hosts an exhibition called The Bridge Moscow Batumi, where five artists show their paintings that are not related to the war, but to their childhood and life, and thus trying to show the friendship of people. And just look at this masterpiece. A regime killed love. I love the idea. Such a great and amazing place. Even though Natasha and I ordered just latte, I ordered banana latte, Alona ordered the drink that she was telling me so many times about and I never tried it in my life. This is Bumble. It's an orange juice with caffeine. Uh, it, by the way, looks very beautiful here. It was invented in Russia, right? Yes, in Moscow. In Moscow. Oh my gosh, it actually good. I, I didn't expect I would like it. I, I, on opposite, I was thinking I would dislike it. No, it's amazing, wow. Natasha took salmon omelette and I took one with prosciutto. Looks so good. And finally, Alona's dish. Mm. Guys, now we wanted to share our impressions of Batumi because it's actually quite different. And the thing is that since we're from different parts of Russia, I'm from Moscow, the capital, and girls are from the Far East, Batumi reminds us of different cities. For example, when I just came here, it really reminded me of Sochi a lot. Sochi is the city also on the Black Sea, but in Russia and the Olympic Games were holding there. So it reminded me a lot, the scenery and also infrastructure. When I first came to Batumi yesterday, it seemed to me that it's like Vladivostok because the sea, the fresh sea air, also seagulls. Vladivostok is still a big Russian city. Yeah. It's it's an industrial city. It has a lot of cars, like factories. But I feel that Batumi is a city where you come to to relax. The only place that I can compare it with is Vladivostok, Sea of Japan. It really looks kind of the same for me, but no palm trees in Vladivostok. <laughs> And also what I noticed, and probably you guys too, that there are no phrases on the walls like Russia's occupant, go, like, go bad words, and like that Russians must leave. Here you don't see it. And that's why, to be honest, I felt more relaxed in Batumi than in Belize. Because I wasn't afraid that someone would show me hate just because of my nationality. And girls felt the same way. And later we decided to take a cable car ride. The price is $11 approximately to go on a cable car. Natasha, say hi. Hello. What are your impressions so far? A bit scared, but the view is nice. Here is an example of how Batumi is changing. It can be called the old town. Just look, quite small buildings here. And behind them, so many tall buildings like in Dubai. Well, it looks like Bali a little bit. Our road is almost finished. Such a gorgeous view and we are almost on the mountain. And I think on the, we are going by walk on the way down. A small hike, I think it's going to go. It's written here, different regions of Georgia. The ride was super nice, I really enjoyed it because I love such things. But for example, the girls had different impressions because Alona was afraid of it. Natasha was bearable. So it's so cool that we are so different, I love it. And right now we are going down by feet 
to the end, to the cedar. Here we went on a hike and I can see so much garbage here. Just look at this, everything is in plastic. So sad. And just look at this safe fence or the hiking trail. Lovely. Some oranges. I'm surprised that they're growing now. How are they surviving here? Wow. Stealing oranges. Shame on you. Interesting that the right side of Batumi seemed to be quite industrial with lots of factories located there. I found my lovely friends, lovely roasters, which I hate so badly after living in a Georgian village, if you didn't know about this. Before going to Tbilisi, I lived a few weeks in a Georgian village in the middle of nowhere, and they were waking me up at five in the morning every single day. I hated every of them. After the hike, we went for a walk in the old town of Batumi. I found some interesting graffiti place on the Google Maps, but it turns out that it's just two walls yeah, with that's uh, it. Mm. pictures. But anyway, looks it, nice. it looks lovely. I like the district anyways, but yeah, I, as I really like art and especially street art, I decided to show it to you, but well, there is nothing much to show. By the way, on this wall you can see graffiti showing a Russian boot stepping on Ukrainian bird or a bell, which illustrates the war. But it's shown very politely and not as aggressive as it's shown in Belize. It looks like a small door, very historical buildings. Beautiful. Sweet angel. Here we came to the main square of the city, Europe Square, which got its name because of the Georgia's desire to be similar to its European neighbors. The perfect combination of the architecture of the 19th century and the modern extensions of the square reflects the nature of the city, which combines the past and the present, and it's worth to say it was super enjoyable to spend some time here. Perhaps I'm wrong, but those vibes and balconies remind me of New Orleans a little bit. And I've been in the States, but from the movies, I can't image something similar. Here is the advertisement of independent media, and it's saying here translation from the Kremlin language. Uh, space operation, war. Military object, yeah, I love this idea. After looking at those buildings, I have such a Dubai vibe right now. But it's so strange because there are also a combination of Soviet architecture and these high rises. Interesting. In the evening, we came to the embankment to see the main attraction of the city, Ali and you know Stutter. Figures are moving towards each other and merge into a single entirety without touching. The composition tells about love between heroes of the know by Kurban Said, an aristocrat from Azerbaijan Ali and a Georgian princess Nino. To finish our day, we decided we'd have a dinner at a local place. It's called Ajarulia Hachipuri House. And here we're going to try the main and most popular Hachipuri, which was created in this region, Ajarulia. While we're waiting for it, we already received our salad from vegetables and compote. It's similar to juice from the berries. And here comes the Hachipuri, the most traditional Georgian dish. It's a bread in the form of the boat, filled with a mixture of cheese, eggs and butter and to eat it properly you have to mix the ingredients inside, tear off the piece of the bread and put the cheese on it and eat. And this should be done by hands. Mm. So good. Look at them, they are not letting me go anywhere. But they are so cute. Are you? Yes, you are so cute.
I don't know why they're following me, but <laughs> anyways, guys, good morning. Let's start this wonderful in our last day of the and uh, we'll go to have some breakfast and later we'll go to the Batani garden. Many people say it's the best thing in Batumi. Garden is located 15 minutes drive from the city and on the way I notice a very unusual thing. Often in the houses you can see extensions such as extra balconies or whole rooms that people have set up which is actually quite illegal and unsafe. Here we go. amazing smell of pine needles and i don't know it feels like it's already the end of spring something like that i love it what do you think yeah for me it's the mixture of all the best memories from my childhood the mm -hmm. smell of autumn spring summer and the air is just perfect it's not wet it's not dry it's just oh my god i wish i lived in such a climate for the rest of my life yes it's is it possible yeah i think so there are many places like that, but yeah, I, I like, I love it. And few people told us that it's worth spending a full day in this botanic garden. And I absolutely agree with them. Just look at this tree. Oh my gosh, it's so impressive. So our walk is finished. We're returning to the entrance by this mini bus. And now we will go to eat something very quickly and we'll come back to Tbilisi five hours in the train. And I just really wanted to share my impressions that uh, Batumi surprised me actually. I didn't have much expectations, so in the end it turned out to be a very cute town. It's perfect uh, to go here for two full days when it's not a hot season. And when it's hot season, I think it's even nicer with a nice weather where you can swim and maybe go to some trips to the mountains. So I loved it. And in the end it's worth saying that we certainly have not looked at all the cool places of Batumi, like museums or natural attractions. I was actually a little afraid that there would be nothing to do here, but how nice it was to be wrong here. And hopefully guys, you will be able to see even more than we did. So if you like this video, don't forget to push the like button, subscribe to my channel, to the girls' channels, and let's explore the world together, shall we? Bye bye!